Welcome back to 13 News Now at noon. We are just three days into the new year. Many of you starting new health and fitness goals. So today we're talking about the importance of physical health and fitness. And we want to welcome Tony Arroyo, a fitness and sports director for Langley Air Force Base, to talk specifically about that. Tony, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You know, so many people kick off the new year wanting to get healthy, wanting to get in shape. But let's talk about the value of that. You know, a lot of people think they really understand, but physical fitness, that health, it is so important for longevity of life. Talk about that. Absolutely. So obviously everybody wants to be in shape and, uh, you know, the new year is a great way to kind of kick off that, that health and wellness for yourself. Mm. Uh, really, at, at the end of the day, it's about just consistent movement, uh, trying to be consistent, find the things that you enjoy doing and do those often. Um, this is a great opportunity to kind of uh, join some 5Ks that are coming up, uh, uh, you know, get into a good a routine, fitness program. Um, consistency is the key to all of it, in my opinion, and then proper progression. A lot of people mm -hmm. want those results right away, uh, and so they go too hard, too fast, and then, you know, come February, March time frame, <laughs> they've already fizzled out. So my, my advice to most individuals is start consistent and uh, provide that progression. So maybe start off with three days a week and then build the four and five days a week and just make that an everyday routine. And so hopefully next year, you're not starting a whole new program, but you just yeah. stay consistent throughout the holidays and consistent into 2024. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I, I feel like we were talking earlier today uh, on Daybreak specifically about that, that in January, you, you start these right. health and fitness goals and then February or March, they're already gone. Uh, for someone, for example, that is on a weight loss journey, what is something healthy and attainable to maintain this throughout the year in terms of that weight loss? Because I know some folks can drop a lot of weight quickly. Some right. folks, it takes a little bit longer. What are some good goals for that? Yeah, so, uh, you know, have some short-term goals and some, some long-term goals, obviously, for yourself. Those short-term goals, reward yourself with, uh, you know, being proud of the fact that you've been consistent, right? Mm. Uh, when, when you start a weight loss program, it can't just be about physical activity only, but it has to, you have to look at that nutritional piece as well. Yeah. So less calories in or smart calories, and then just move a lot more. Um, when I say progression, you know, start walking and then go into a jog and then go into a sprint. Yeah. Uh, so that way you can kind of see those results little by little. People will get frustrated because they'll see results early and then they'll plateau. And the reason for that is because they, they, they haven't progressed accordingly and they haven't overloaded the system properly. Uh, so my advice to them is stay consistent, watch what you're eating, how you're eating, and then burn those calories through whatever physical activity you enjoy. Fitness is different for everybody. So if yeah. you're a runner, go out and run. If, if running is difficult, go out and walk. And just realize that you just have to maybe spend a little bit more time doing that. Some good things to keep in mind. And I know we have an event coming up for some folks here in Hampton right. Roads that could kind of kick off that journey. Tell us about that event. Yeah, so we have a New Year, New Me Run uh, 5K coming up. Okay. Uh, we plan on having several of them throughout the year. And, and again, this is just to kick off some consistency. It'll be at 730 in the morning over at the ACC uh, Trail Fitness okay. Center. Uh, it is available only to our active duty, um, I'm sorry, our population that is able to come to Langley Air Force Base. Okay. And the goal is to start off by um, putting in the mileage and, and start. You can come and walk, you can come and run. Uh, we, we're giving free prizes to anyone that comes to five of our 5Ks that are, that are coming out throughout the year. Uh, we do have a base wide event that will be coming up in October time frame. It's called Race Around the Base, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and then that's when we'll try to open up our community for people to come in and do a 10K uh, during that time frame as well. Okay. Um, yeah. So we have T-shirts, prizes for our active duty. If you get 1,000 miles in in a certain time frame, 2,000 miles, and then a 5,000-mile T-shirt as well. Okay. So, again, the whole goal is just to promote movement, uh, promote uh, fitness, maybe start with a walk, but by October you're running that 10K. Fantastic. And where can people go to get more information? So our website, uh, our Facebook page uh, is probably the best one. So okay. JBLE, uh, 633rd JBLE um, website, uh, which I think will be posted on for you guys. And uh, we'll keep you uh, informed of any fitness challenges and our 5Ks or events that we have for our community and for the community at large. Okay, lots of activities to kind of jumpstart that health and fitness goal here for 2023. Tony, thank you so much. So, truly my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Awesome. We'll be right back.